Good day everyone, I am Lenny Reyes of BSN3E and today I will be discussing remedial strategy for reading. But what is remedial strategy? It is an intervention program to target basic skills such as phonics, reading, writing, and number sense with the goal of raising the student's ability to the standards expected of their age or to remediate the problem before it becomes worse. The basic premise of this remedial instruction is to help students catch up to their peers and to prevent ongoing academic issues. But remedial instruction is not intended to be a cure for issues caused by a person's disability or disorder. However, people with disability or disorder can still attend a remedial program for the same persons as their non-disabled peers. And for today's video, I will be showing you our remedial strategy for reading, which is SQ3R strategy. SQ3R is a powerful reading strategy that supports students' learning. In this lesson, we will learn what SQ3R method for reading text is, when to apply it, as well as the benefits of using it. So, what is SQ3R? SQ3R is a strategy for reading and studying. It is a sequence designed to increase retention and understanding by encouraging the reader to use each stage of the reading process before, during, and after, intentionally moving from small details to large ideas and back again. By setting a purpose for reading, asking questions, taking notes, and reviewing both notes and text in relation to one another, readers are able to delve more deeply into a text compared to merely reading or even reading and responding. What is the goal of SQ3R method? The goal of SQ3R reading method is to help students to efficiently and actively work on reading and understanding educational texts, but it can be useful for everyone who are in their work, studies, or free time relies on written information and wants to understand it better. There are five steps in doing or applying SQ3R method. For the first step, we have survey. You take a few minutes to scan the entire text. Pay attention to layouts, chapters, section, graphs, pictures, words in bolds, and italics. In general, this provides important information about the content of the text. By quickly scanning through the text first, you create an overview and structure. This serves as the foundation for the active reading and understanding of the text. For step number two, we have question. Ask yourself questions about the text that you scanned during the previous steps. For instance, Turn the chapters into title questions, or try to understand what the author wants to say, or to convey. For step number three, we have read. Read the text while keeping the structure from step one, S, and the question from step two, Q, in the back of your mind. Pay attention to chapters, sentences printed in bold, explanation under graphs and images. Read actively. Write down additional questions while you are reading and try to find answers to previously asked questions. Write down answers and explanation in the right margin of the text. Take your time for the more complicated part of the text and read it again if you need it too. Give less attention to unimportant information. Reread per part and repeat these parts to yourself in your own words. For the fourth step, we have recite. Repeat aloud in your own words what you have read. Ask yourself questions about the text. Explain what you have read to someone else. You can also do this to your imagination. Making a summary in your own words provide extra support. For the fifth and last step, we have review. Read all the relevant parts of the text again. Look at your notes. Possibly improve on your notes, paying extra attention to the parts you found difficult. Read your own questions on the left side of the text and cover the answer on the right side and try to answer them. This step is the most effective if you do it a day after step 1 and through 4. After following these 5 steps, 
you will have actively read a text and you will be better in remembering and explaining what the text is all about. In conclusion, by using SQ3R method, you learn to read more deliberately and actively, ensuring you retain more of the information.